Pitts. 12 News journalist John Tennant and William Pitts brave the heat so that William can explain. Anybody who's ever tried to use their phone outside in Phoenix in the summertime knows that things just shut down when they get hot. I put my phone on my dashboard for less than five minutes today and there's no way it's working. Electronics and heat, not a good mix. It doesn't even have to be that hot to shut down. I mean, here, I just tested my phone and it's 122 degrees. That's hot, but it's probably gonna get hotter outside. But the heat can also affect some things you wouldn't expect, even some safety systems in your car. In the last few days, we've been hearing about a lot of other things shutting down because of the heat. Things like backup cameras and parking sensors. This post on Reddit says it all. Some driver assist systems cannot operate. Camera temperature, too high. The headline, I didn't even know this was possible. But all of these cars got so much electronics on them nowadays. Dave Martin does. You know, you take your laptop out there in the parking lot and start working with your laptop and see how long that lasts before it starts wigging out. Dave's an auto mechanic. He says he's seen cars come in for a bunch of heat-related injuries. Dead batteries mostly, but also radiators and backup cameras. It is hot out here, and this backup camera has been sitting directly in the sun for about 25 minutes or so, and it is sitting at 137 degrees. My iPhone shut off 30 degrees ago. We've got the backup camera on the very back of the car, and it's exposed to the heat. And, you know, the sun's beating on it, and we're noticing that we're starting to see that the backup cameras um, themselves are starting to malfunction just because they're just getting too hot, and they're, they're basically burning up internally. For the most part, electronics don't actually burn themselves out. They shut down to save themselves. A quick online search shows other people having similar problems with cameras and sensors shutting down. So yes, users slightly sketchy, it is possible for high temperatures to make your car freak out. The fix, either a repair shop or maybe as easy as parking in the shade. William Pitts, 12 News.